And having talked about time and place, the next thing on my outline is to discuss uh, the use of the blackboard. Now, the blackboard is a wonderful thing, and it must be so, because we've had them for a long time, and in spite of the introduction of numerous kinds of technology, we've never gotten rid of them. They're still with us, so there must be something good about them. And one of the good things about the blackboard is that it establishes a kind of pace that in many subject is, subjects is well matched to the speed at which people can absorb material. So the use of the blackboard is important, and it does a great deal for us. So let's write down a few things then about the board. First thing you can say about the board is it allows you to draw. You can draw icons. You can draw pictures. You can draw pictures with colored overlays. And this is important because in psychology and in artificial intelligence, my field, which tends to mirror the developments in psychology, what we find more and more is that intelligence is really buried in two places. It's buried in our linguistic system, and it's buried in our visual system. So if you just talk to somebody, you're, only, you're going into a discussion with one boot off. You're not engaging that visual problem-solving apparatus, which is the important second pillar of what our human intelligence seems to be all about. So drawing pictures, using icons, these are not just flourishes. They're not just embellishments, but they're an important channel through which we can communicate information to one another. So draw whenever you have the opportunity. Can you think of anything else to do with the blackboard? You can write stuff down and make lists interactively with people in your audience, especially important in the humanities. Make lists. What is this about? Make a list. The third thing that I like to use the board for is the third thing that a blackboard is especially good for is as a target that you can point at. Many people who uh, begin teaching for the first time act as if they've just discovered that they have hands attached to the ends of their arms, and they don't really know what to do with them. Uh, so the tendency is to jam them in the pockets, which insults many people, or to put them behind your back, which insults a fraction of the remaining people, or to uh, let them flutter in the wind, uh, which might suggest a degree of nervousness. So if you have these problems or you have these temptations, then the thing to do is to point at the blackboard. One of the great uh, instructors at MIT, uh, Seymour Papert, uh, who's well known for many things, including the development of the Logo programming language, is one of MIT's great pointers. And I noticed one day, when I was looking at Seymour Lecture, that invariably the things he was pointing at had nothing whatsoever to do with what he was talking about. <laughs> but nevertheless, it was an effective uh, speaking technique uh, all the same. <laughs> 